All right, I went online and found some ZBrush anatomies of uh, a horse's head. You can do that easily. Uh, what I do is I type in horse head anatomy ZBrush for artists. Always end it with for artists because if you don't, you'll get a bunch of other crap. Time to play with some clay. It's going to help me to get the, uh, the head of the horse just about right. Now, my cameras are going to be hard to position because of, uh, well, just the nature of the whole thing. I can't have it sitting right in front of me. And so, uh, and do the best I can. The, uh, like the eye of a human, a horse's eye is just as complicated, if not more. Just because of the, uh, position of the eye and the uh, structure of the uh, skull. using the drawings in conjunction with my uh, anatomical drawings that I've got on the wall and photographs that I've actually taken of horses. Now these are some of the pictures that I've taken of horses out in the field and uh, the lighting was just perfect for getting the uh, structure of the uh, head and all the muscles in the eyes and in the jaw and everything else. And I combine it with ZBrush references that I've gotten off of the web and they all help. And uh, that's how I gather my reference material. An artist is only as good as his reference or her reference.
I'm just going to do one side of the face at a time. And uh, probably not the best thing to do, but this is the way I'm going to do this one. This is very time consuming. Because the face of the horse is just as important as the face of a human. And uh, you got to get the detail right. That's an under muscle. I find it very comforting and very relaxing when you take your time. There's no rush. It ain't going to get done any sooner. Now, I know that a lot of you young sculptors are a lot faster than I am. And that's fine. Your eyesight's better than mine, too. And you're not dealing with a half-numb hand as well. And your stamina is a whole lot better than mine. I used to go all day sculpting. I can't do that anymore. Just don't have it. The ability to do that, I'm afraid. I think I do okay. If it comes out looking like a horse instead of an elephant, I've done good. Alright, this is going to be it for today. It's taken me quite a while to get these muscles just right. And, uh, I'm going to hit this with a little Ronsonol lighter lighter fluid so that uh, I can smooth out some of these areas first I've still got a couple of deep things that I don't want what the Ronsonol does it just uh, causes a reaction on the clay, this plastiline clay. I don't know if this works on monster clay or not. Um, it doesn't seem to, but it works just fine on plastiline. Turn off the light so I can see the detail a little bit better. Sometimes it's better to have one light source so you can see your detail. Now that, that looks good. Now I'm going to have to tilt the horse up to work on the mouth, but... Uh, I'll do that when I get the other side of the face to where I like it. There's some things I learned on this one that I haven't uh, learned before. I really like the way it's turning out. That's the way sculpting is. You constantly learn. You don't uh, stop learning. Please give me a like and a subscribe and ring the little bell also don't forget i have instructional videos available now online the link below this video shows you a link to a review of all nine videos later everybody good night